one of his top advisors uh, during the transition period in education is Michelle Ree, who was the chancellor of the D.C. school system for a period of time. During that period of time, she shut down 22 schools, saying that there was not enough, there were not enough students in those schools to justify them staying open. She fired half the administrative office staff of D.C. public schools, and she strongly advocated merit pay for teachers. Uh, and what does that say about what an education reform package might look like? And could something like that pass writ large upon the state? Well, the answer is yes. I think we are going to see massive change in education. What I saw on the campaign trail is I was with Rick Scott uh, the day he saw that movie Waiting for Superman in Orlando. He's a huge proponent of school choice. Uh, I think we're going to see the education changes move in a direction that outstrips and, and eclipses anything Jeb Bush did, which would be uh, pretty dramatic. But I also think that the public might have more of a limited appetite for this than Rick Scott thinks. The public wants one thing from Rick Scott jobs, the very thing he ran on. He didn't run as, a, as an education change agent. He ran as a jobs governor. And I, I see a small peril for Rick Scott if he gets off the jobs track and starts talking about education all the time. People want jobs. People want opportunities to work.